All right, so let's get started here. We are in the second tutorial here on our tic-tac-toe inside Lua with Codia. You ready? I am. So what we've got so far is we've got these blue registered squares on each of these. So it's testing, just to remind us, it's testing through the code right here on lines 34 through uh, 40 here, 41, and it's testing through and seeing if it will find uh, specific coordinates as you're going through. All right, assuming that 60 times per second, pretty crazy how fast it goes. Now, what we're going to do here, instead of filling it with a blue rectangle, let's start putting your X's and Y's. And what I'm going to recommend, just for sake of ease here, is with your current dot touch, if your tap count equals one, then what are we going to do? We are going to put an X on the screen. What do you think about that? Think that'd be easier? I think it would. All right, and the way that this is gonna happen is we're gonna actually go up to the top arrays up here. We're gonna act, add an extra line here. And this is gonna be whether or not your tap is registering a X or a Y. So for example, a zero is gonna be nothing and let's put down here seven. So zero equals no, um, one equals an X, and two equals an O. Does that make sense? So we're gonna change that if there's a tap count of one. So what we'll do is we'll come here and we'll change board, and we will say T, again, we're still with T, and it's gonna be the seventh position. If it is tapped once, we're going to put a one there, okay? And then we're going to do an else if um, current dot touch tap count equals two, then we're going to put a two there for the seventh position. And then the other thing, oops, the other thing we might want to do is clear it. Uh, well, no, we'll just leave it for the, now. So that will allow us to get it in there. And now what it will do also, if we come down here, and we have to set up another for loop. This is now for the drawing of the X's and O's. All right, let's move that up a little bit here. And we have to do the same thing here, except now we're going to do I from 1 to 9. And what we're gonna do now is we are going to check board in the I position in the seventh. That's the new value we've added. And if it's one, then what are we gonna do? We're gonna change our font size to 100. And then we're going to put text. We're gonna put X down. And let's make this board. And again, this is gonna be in the I position. And then the three, remember three is the width down there, uh, the bottom left, and then same thing with the eye position in the fourth one. That is now the right, bottom left, X and Y coordinate position. So if that's the case, then we're gonna put an X. Same thing down here, and we're gonna do else if board I, and then seven equals equals two, then what are we going to do? Again, same thing, font size. Actually, let's just copy and paste lines 49 and 50 here. Paste them right there. And instead of it being an X, it's going to be an O. All right, then we need an end, and then another end. And let's try it now. So, boom, it's putting it down. Notice it is in the bottom left position. Well, that's not quite what we want, is it? So let's do text mode. Oh, let's put it in the corner. And actually, let's try, yeah, let's try corner and see if that makes a difference. And we'll come down here as well. Okay, so that's a little bit better, but it's still not in the middle of the squares there. So let's adjust the X. It looks like the, Width is probably going to be, oh, I don't know, about 7.5% there. Move it over. Oh, look at that. That looks great. That was just the right amount. This is 7.5% of the width. And then the height, let's do, oh, that much. there. And then that puts it right in there. 
and we will refresh it and then boom that's good enough right and if you double tap it notice it changes to an O there boom and we can actually change the color as well we can make you know the X's be white and we can make the O's be red and so now you can tell whether or not they're there double tapping double tapping and then we hit refresh and it resets the board so boom I'm gonna go there double tap go there boom double tap oh I just lost oh man <laughs> all right so that's the basics of the X and Y notice the tap movement is not quite exactly what we wanted we don't have any sort of win set up at this point but to get you the basics this is going to be what you're going to want to do all right so this will get you there for the tic-tac-toe. I would definitely love it if you worked on a score system trying to figure out and test the, whether or not there are three X's there in a row or O's in a row and so forth, okay? Um, but that is your basics um, in a tic-tac-toe board game. And Lua, thanks for joining us.